everyone welcome back y'all we have the groceries for the second week of july that will carry us from july 8th through the 14th i am going to utilize my prepper pantry quite a bit especially the canned good items and anything that's on my shelf stable situation um, i'm also going to take on anything else that's in the refrigerator that probably needs to be eaten up not to mention, we are also going to be eating out of our prep freezer for the week. So these are just a few things that I wanted to get and needed to have in our house this week to maintain what we need to for the week for groceries. I had a $125 budget and I only spent $45, y'all. Got this from Aldi. Was very pleasantly surprised to see that boneless skinless chicken breast was under $2.30 per pound. I have not seen that in like the longest while. So super happy, went ahead and picked up a package of that. We'll make a couple of meals with the boneless skinless chicken breast for the kids. Got three pounds of the 7327 ground beef. Sorry about the squeaking in the background. Tucker is playing with one of his squeaky toys. This was just over, I wanna say it was like $13. I do know that the price of ground beef is significantly getting higher. So that's something I'm keeping an eye on. We've got six Roma tomatoes. Danya wanted to have some avocado toast. So I've got, I think it's five or six avocados. They do look quite a bit smaller than they normally look. They're not completely rock hard, but it'll take a few days for those to ripen up for her. Two more packs of taco seasoning just to keep ourselves in stock with taco seasoning. I do plan to have a Costco order next month in August, and I will buy a bigger container. The taco seasoning at Costco is much cheaper than it is at Sam's Club in the bigger version, so just letting you know that. Got a bag of apples here. We did get three uh, packages of bread. It's only because, y'all, I am under the weather right now. I have um, a stomach flu going on. So I am not in the mood. Again, second week around. And it's been super duper hot. Now, our weather has changed and it's gone down. But it just seems really kind of ugh outside when you're outside. Even though it's not as hot as it was about a week and a half ago. Got a very small head of lettuce. Not very happy about the quality of this lettuce. Um, it is solid. Your hand doesn't go through it like it normally does at Aldi but it is really, really small and they've raised the price quite a bit on that as well. So, not much to show you in the ways of Tucker, calm down, <laughs> in the ways of groceries this week. But again, we're gonna be doing a lot of things out of our preps, pulling out of our dry goods and out of our freezer and then finishing off what we need to in our refrigerator this week. So, we will catch you in the next video. Very short, very simple video. But y'all, way under budget again. I'm super excited. Our prep pantry helps out a lot, y'all. I do have some extra items I do plan to purchase for my prep pantry coming up, but I will discuss that in that video when I get it done. So just wanted to show you the very small, but haul that we needed for this week. And this is the second week of July, running again from the 8th through the 14th. Again, sorry, he decided he was gonna play with his toy. <laughs> y'all. It's not about batteries and toys over here anymore, like the kids when they were younger. Now it's about dogs and their squeaky toys. <laughs> and they don't require batteries for those things. So apologies for that, but he's having fun and I'm not gonna go in there and stop him from having fun with one of his little toys. So we'll catch you in the next video. If you have any comments, concerns, suggestions, anything like that at all, throw it down in the comment section down below. We'll catch you in the next video. Without Limits is out.